I was very thankful to uh, Romanian government, to the people of Romania, to all those volunteers who really showed an open heart and uh, received uh, Ukrainian refugees so well. Uh, yesterday I also had a chance to visit school where uh, Ukrainian children uh, are educated and it was really touching moment to hear those stories, how well they were accepted in, in, in Romania. So I'm very thankful for that. But we also, of course, discuss what implications on, on, on economy it might have uh, and, and, and so on. Inevitably, we discussed with, with Minister Environment of Environment and, and, and Prime Minister as well <coughs> uh, the ongoing infringements um, as regards the illegal logging, as regards the, the, the air quality, as regards the wastewater uh, and etc. We discussed the concrete steps um, which we should take uh, with concrete timelines, let's say June and end of 2022, what can be and, and, and must be implemented in order to, to avoid further steps uh, and, and, and ensure that uh, people of Romania get to, 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 to enjoy clean air and, and, and clean water. And also, you know, ensuring that uh, the, the, the beauty and the richness of, of, of Romanian forests are preserved. So, we also discussed the situation briefly on, on the Black Sea <coughs> and in regards to the interruption of activities, uh, especially with the Minister of Agriculture. I reassured him that, that uh, uh, Romanian fishermen has the full support of the European Union and we already activated the uh, EMFF and MFAF uh, crisis mechanism, which will allow them, you know, compensate uh, fishermen uh, due to loss of their activities. So I will get back a bit to you. You mentioned the infringements. Uh, Romania has a lot of infringements on environment. So I would ask you if you could be a little more concrete. What progress has been made in infringement cases opened against Romania? So I can't say that there was no progress done, but there is still outstanding issues. Um, for example, as regards illegal logging, we still have a, a, a number of outstanding issues. Sumal system, which is a very promising tool, is not fully operational and not fully implemented. Uh, and, and that has to be done. Forest management plans um, as well, they have to be, to be, to be, to be uh, uh, changed and looked at, uh, the procedures uh, and, and, and etc. So we, we of course addressed all, all of that, then the air quality which is an issue and, and unfortunately it's aggravating and, and, and getting worse. Wastewater treatment and here is something where you need first of all investments in ensuring mm, that uh, the, the, the wastewater is treated correctly, uh, that of course uh, um, Romanian citizens get the people get to, to get to have a fresh uh, a clean uh, water from, from, from their tap. And then air quality, <coughs> something uh, something that uh, inevitably needs to be to be to be to be addressed urgently, and not only here in Bucharest, but also in in other parts of of, of Romania. Last but not least, waste management. Uh, of course, uh, the situation with the waste management is 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 is, is quite complicated and, and needs further investments, waste prevention mechanisms, mm, separation. Uh, um, uh, and uh, you know waste management uh, capacities, which can be built only with with the investment. But in order to attract those investments and, and and public money to be well spent, you have to have a plan. So uh, Romania lacks a plan uh, to 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 settle the issue with the landfills and uh, yes. waste management. Yes. So it's 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 it still needs to be I improved and. I think landfills, they have no future in Europe and especially in such a beautiful country like Romania. Yeah, uh, so uh, Mr. Commissioner, what do you think is the biggest environment, if you were to choose from the many that you mentioned, the biggest environment problem that Romania is facing and how would you say is Romania dealing with this issue? It's very hard to, to, to single out one because, you know, those, those issues are interlinked. So, for example, you know, air quality. It's a big issue because it has direct impact on the health of, 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 of citizens of, of Romania and then it puts additional pressure on your health, on your social budgets uh, and, 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 and so on. 
and much more has to be done, not only on national government level, but um, on regional as well. Uh, Illegal logging. Well, I think this is something what uh, importantly has to be to be to be addressed. Uh, nobody says that um, uh, you know the, the the activities in 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 forest must stop. No, absolutely not. But they have to be done by a clear rules. And then if illegal logging, which is a crime, happens, then you know the judicial system has to very clearly uh, support and 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 of course those. Who committed the crime has to be to be to be to be punished and not 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 walk away. Um, if you take uh, water uh, and, and and water quality, I think this is extremely important and really unthinkable that that some of of, of parts doesn't doesn't have uh, of the country doesn't have the access to to to, to clean water. So Romania doesn't have any more pollution tax for the old cars. And it's hesitating to undertake <coughs> such a step, saying there will be problems with the European Commission. What would those problems might be? Uh, I'm not not sure now about about your 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 your, your quote, and uh, I, I would you know uh, I would I would not comment on on that exactly. But all I can say that the issue of air pollution is not going to be dealt only through taxation. Because there are many other issues like urban planning. Uh, so, for example, if you take city uh, like Bucharest, uh, there has to be a micro mobility level uh, uh, development. It has to be a, a uh, comfortable um, uh, public transport, which is going to show that it can move faster through the city than than the car. Uh, and 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 etc. You know, so there is uh, many other solutions which has to come into place because people, they cannot wait for five or six or ten years when uh, mobility networks are going to be established, bike lanes going to be put through. They need to go to work tomorrow, and if the only solution, how safely to go to work is a car, clearly people is going to choose a car, and uh, so so so. Taxation only is not going to, to solve the issue. Again, you have to have a uh, sustainable development uh, of, of the transportation plan. And, and those plans, first of all, has to address uh, mobility issues uh, within the cities. As I said, public transport, micro-mobility, bike lanes, walking lanes, all that has to be safe, secure and uh, acceptable to, 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 to citizens. So then maybe the European Commission would accept such a tax if there was such a plan, as you no, mentioned? No, so don't get uh, me wrong. Uh, I'm, I'm saying how, you, how it's best to, to, to approach this, but the Commission would accept the, 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 um, uh, the tax anyway because uh, um, many countries, most of the countries in the EU, they actually have um, car pollution tax, different uh, kind of tax. Some apply the taxation on, for example, registering the new cars. So that uh, there would the 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 incentives would goes to those who register uh, cleaner cars with less CO2 emissions. The other apply the yearly tax and so on. So it's different mechanism, but most of the member states have it. So I don't really understand uh, why uh, this in initiative from Romania would would not be accepted by Commission. Uh, what solution do you think would be feasible to allow Romania? to get rid of the extremely polluting cars in traffic? So first of all, uh, you know, uh, I think uh, there has to be a, a, a gradual um, elimination of, of, of allowing registering uh, the polluting cars uh, in, in, in Romania. Uh, because if you allow to, 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 to register uh, pollutant cars, that's already an issue. So step by step, uh, of course, you have to, to apply this measure. Secondly, uh, as I said, uh, you have to offer alternatives to people, alternatives which would be more, uh, uh, let's say, comfortable and, and more uh, applicable to them, especially in, in, in larger cities. Yeah. Uh, in a context in which the energy prices are growing constantly, are the electric vehicles still feasible, especially considering there is a problem with the charging facilities, at least in Romania? But, uh, you know, if you... <laughs> Uh, it, it, you can't say that because I don't have a charger, I'm not going to use my computer. So uh, 
I think, first of all, uh, that's also a part of, of the deal. If you want um, Romanians to, to, to switch to electric mobility, you have to have a network of chargers. Because if a possibility to charge uh, your car is, is going to be very limited, most likely you won't switch it then to, to, to electric mobility. So the network has to be fought through before. And not only network on uh, major uh, roads and, and, and so on, but network uh, as regards the, the, the housing, because we know that uh, some of the, the, the blocks uh, uh, that are, 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 going, are being planned, they've been planned 50, 60 years ago, and they have not enough capacity for cars but even then they don't have a capacity for uh, you know, electric chargers. So one thing is to plan uh, the charging facility, and that can be funded from Recovery and Resilience Fund. Secondly, the price uh, on, on, on electricity, I think what we have to ensure is uh, we have issues uh, short term, but long term we have to ensure that we invest into, into energy solutions like renewable energy, which is clearly the cheapest. And I'm pretty sure also with R&D and development of, of electric vehicles, they will become more and more efficient. So I don't think so. It's, it's, it's going to be a, a, a big issue. We also see that the petrol prices, they also skyrocketed. So uh, I, think, I, I think here is clean, clean vehicles are still a, a, a best solution that we have. Uh, now let me take you back to one of the issues you mentioned before. Uh, Romania is ranked uh, as having one of the worst situation in EU when it comes to air quality. Can you see any positive developments in that respect? What more should be done? I, I would say that unfortunately that situation got, got, got worse uh, and, and data that we receive it shows that the situation got worse. Maybe you can connect that with, with improvement of, of network and that there is more monitoring stations and that's probably the positive development that there is more uh, monitoring stations but clearly that, that practices, uh, practices doesn't change and, 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 and issues are, are only aggravating. So uh, that requires you know, multiple solutions. First of all, always dealing with the pollution you have to look at the source and how to cut that pollution at the source. So we already discussed the transport issues. I'm not going to go back, but transport is a big issue. Secondly, industrial pollution. Uh, and you have uh, uh, large combustion plants uh, that operating with permits that actually uh, were issued even so that they're not supposed to receive them and, and, and Commission notified Romania about that. We didn't say that you have to close those plans, but they have to apply mechanisms uh, ensure that uh, the, the, those emissions, that pollution is drastically decreased. Uh, and of course that, that, that uh, requires investments. Also you have uh, certain air pollution from, from, from livestock uh, farming, uh, which, which, which also uh, can, be, uh, can be addressed uh, with uh, new CAP strategic plan. So there are solutions, but you have to look at the source of, of, of the pollution and then um, uh, you know, have a, 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 an answer to all of that. Is returning to coal still a solution at this time for <coughs> energy production? Why? It is not a solution, uh, maybe, but with a very cautious maybe, if we need temporary increased use of coal in order to get rid of Russian gas, then it can be a very short term temporary solution, but not more than that. Our mid term and long term goals is decarbonization of the European economy and that can be done only through the clean energy sources that belong to us and that can ensure our geopolitical independence but also ensuring that we don't deepen climate pollution crisis because uh, coal is, is a big issue as regards the pollution. So only if that would allow to cut off the Russian gas very quickly, so maybe temporary increase, but that's not a solution. So when you say temporary, you just mean like years, a year, two, three years or so? So I don't want to estimate a timeline, but as short as possible, if possible, avoid it. 
Can it be considered an advantage, the fact that Romania still has coal mines in this context? No, because I don't think so. There is a shortage of coal in, on the market. If you look, for example, in the past five, ten years, uh, US, they closed many of their coal uh, uh, power plants. China is doing the same. So there is definitely no shortage of coal. Under the circumstances that many countries might feel tempted to resort to coal, especially with the war going on in Ukraine and the energy prices increase, will the emission reduction targets for 2030 still be reached? Or do you rather think that there will be a delay? No, I think we will reach uh, uh, climate targets. Uh, because um, if you look, we actually reinforcing them and, and trying to fast forward them. For example, mm, with our uh, newest plan to cut off the use of Russian gas by two thirds, uh, it clearly shows our commitment actually to move forward with the renewable energy projects. And I see now a lot of willingness from member states to do that. The, the planning is actually now uh, going forward uh, very much with the areas being designated where, you know, renewable energy projects uh, will take place. Um, the bear population has increased in Romania quite a lot lately and that has become a problem because the bears started to leave their habitat to enter households to attack domesticated animals and even people. Do you see a solution to this issue? Could Romania export bears, for instance, and where? No, I'm sorry, I haven't heard about the exporting beers uh, to anywhere, but uh, maybe I'm missing something. Uh, but as regards uh, the increased population in Romania, as I said, has a very rich and diverse uh, biodiversity and, and, and forests. And uh, with the increase of, of beer population, we have a very clear legislation. So, of course, one thing what Romania has to do is to account the, 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 the habitat and then, uh, depending on, 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 on the number, we would see in which annex it belongs and what measures could be, uh, could be applied. Uh, but um, when it comes to a threat to a human life, we also have very clear exemption from, from, from our legislation. Will the nuclear power plants be considered green investments? What does this mean? Could these projects be financed with EU funds? So, they won't be considered green, uh, they will be considered transitional mm, and uh, I highly doubt the possibility of, of funding it as it is now, but again, uh, as it is at the moment, if we speak about the old big reactors, which is expensive to build, uh, operational cost and of course the, 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 the price of, of electricity is cheap, but then you have big issues with the waste and very expensive to close. I don't think so even with the, with the EU funding you can attract a pub, uh, private investments into that because return on, 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 on the money is going to be too slow and, and, and the appetite for private investments are going to be too, too, too low. And for the national budgets to take on this burden it would be very difficult. So unless the technology which everyone is speaking about but it hasn't been yet implemented, starts to be implemented and, and things change we, with those small reactors uh, way safer and so on being, being implemented, maybe, then maybe. But with the current technology that we have at the moment, I'm not that optimistic. I think it just, you know, it's all about competition in the end of the day. It's also a business case and if you look at the nuclear, uh, reactors business case and then you look at the possibilities of renewables for example nuclear reactor uh, doesn't stand a, a chance